Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a 63 degree uh, thir <laughs> Thursday, May the uh, 18th. 43 years ago, on this day, at 8.32 and 32 seconds, is when uh, Mount St. Helens decided to dismantle herself out there. 43 years ago, and she's just sitting right over there. Just beyond the height of that mountain there, you can't see Mount St. Helens behind it. Just a little bit on a drone, you can see it. 43 years ago. That's crazy. Man, nuts how time goes by. But anyway, this is the anniversary of Mount St. Helens eruption. Back on the, this day in 1980. So vividly clear. It was a Sunday morning, early. That's cool. Well, it's cool to see. Wasn't a cool event, but uh, definitely memorable, that's for sure. All right, let's get back to reality here. Ah, look out! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> what was this? I got a, a I long drive, but she's got to go tinkle. <laughs> and he likes to scare me all the time. That does not help when you have to. Yeah, well, we need to do more of our prank video things. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> he does it all the time. He just doesn't Yeah, we just film never it. film it. Yeah. <laughs> it's great pleasure out of that. In case you like a cat, man. You go, <laughs> <laughs> have to okay. scrape her off the ceiling half the time. I'm not. But, wow, Amazon is showing you up here now? Oh. That was quick. Yes, it was. Well, Mama... Let's have yourself a wonderful day. You too. Yep, Thursday, one, two yeah. more days, and two more, two more. be the weekend that yeah. goes by too fast. I know, it's way <laughs> too fast. All right, Mama. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <clears throat> bye bye now. Bye. Well, I'd have been done with this uh, 2016 RT Limited. I was telling you guys about yesterday in the test ride hours ago, but they said. Yeah. <laughs> They knew I had this on my schedule, but they set me up for uh, customer weight recalls. So anyway, back on it. Here's a picture from yesterday. And then here's a picture of when I just got it off, which is the state that it's in right now. Sorry about the white balance, I got it locked. But uh, yeah, she sat overnight soaked in PB blaster and uh, that's how I left the day. And that's where I had to start today. Well, she came right off. It took a puller to get it off, but she came right out of there. So, off we are, we need to finish this and finish up the service. I still got a fuel filter, air filter, and um, I don't remember what else. I gotta go through the check sheet, but anyway, there we are on 2016 RTL. There we are, a little PB blaster, wire brush, some brake cleaner, and uh, she's shiny as new. It would have been nice if he to perform the, the preliminary test. We'd already had this thing off and I wouldn't be fighting with it now. And it wouldn't be all rusty. There's like two different times you're supposed to come in for these things. I don't know. You don't know what's going on in people's lives, but it never got any of those. So, yeah, she was stuck. She was badly rusted. But uh, we're gonna fix it now. So she's done. So I still need to test ride it. I need to remember the screws I was talking about yesterday. You need to touch on. This one was quite loose too. All of them, I mean, those just need a nudge. Uh, that one was pretty loose and that one's gone. I think we have those in stock, so I'll look that up and uh, we'll take a test ride first thing in the morning on this beautiful, I think he lives a ways away, so I doubt he's gonna come all the way down here tonight anyway, but I will verify all that. She's a beauty. Big service, recall. She's uh, she's set, she's kinda close on a rear tire. I'll have them talk to him about that. And see what he wants to do, he's, he's at the, He's into the 50% bar, so he could be at 40%. So he's taking a trip. He should probably do that sooner and later. Heck yeah, she's a beauty. Man, 
been home for an hour and a half now and I finally <laughs> I go, what all did I record today? Did something with the spiders. I didn't get get to go for the ride. But I thought I was gonna get to, but other things I could have ridden something, but they were all quick stuff, no you know, after service test ride kind of a thing, but just quickies, but I didn't record them because I had so many things going on one right after another. Anyway, so we'll fill in some time with this. <laughs> Today, um, some, uh, some 3S, or 3 cells, uh, shorty packs that I ordered from Amazon showed up today. So, they're little small ones that are sitting, um, yeah, it's sitting under the driver's seat instead of all the way in the back. So, I had to adjust the suspension, and I went too soft, I think, in the rear, so I probably got too much sag in the back. And like a knucklehead, I adjusted the suspension with the chassis just sitting there. But the body on this thing weighs quite a bit. And I put the body back on. I go, man, that's not even going to work. I done messed up. So I'm playing around. It looks like it's, I don't know, maybe it is a little high in the, in the rear still. I was too low. Trying to compensate one out, it's just got a little bit of torque going on there, messing with it. But I think even even yet, no, nope, she's not gonna grab. Sometimes you can get to grab that little rubber piece there. I don't know why that. No matter what tires and what truck, I, I've been still coming out here every single night and not recording things, but the K10 um, was having a hard times grabbing. The and the what was it the uh, the Traxxas TRX four Bronco um, with those fancy high racks it was even having a hard time but those are dirt tires you know yeah I think I'm I think I'm kicked up a little high in the rear man I studied that thing I swear I had it right but she's not. What's it like with a 3S? It's just a little 2200. Oh yeah, she's got some speed. You definitely get more speed with a 3S, that's for sure. Just a little tiny battery. It's amazing how small they are. And I don't know why, I just never look. Because the TRXs have a tray sitting up front that uh, you can mount the batteries on the front up there, give it more forward bias, you know, for going up steep areas and whatnot. I just never priced them out. I just assumed they were crazy expensive. And But no, <laughs> they're 2200, but they're only 35C. I went with a lower C. Not as much a burst of power, but I don't know. It seems like they last a little longer. That rear is jacked up. Of course, it's hard to tell because the thing, the body weight makes everything twerk around too much. How you doing there, old Bronco? I've been driving everything else but you. I, but I drove it a lot there for a while. Some Proline shocks and big bores. Making sure nice and smooth. I was out here with the uh, K10. No, I was playing around with the Gen 8 last night. And I was out with the K10 the night before. And man, I loved the way them shocks, this Proline shocks on it too. And um, I just love the way that thing looks so scale. You can just picture a, a real truck going through the same thing and how it react. That's what that thing does. That's what I like, the very scale look. If you if you look up, you know the you know the pro level, I guess you could say rock crawlers. They're these odd buggy looking things, which I'm sure is incredibly fun. It looks very fun, but uh, yeah, you can end up spending some serious money on some of that stuff. But I, I enjoy the scale look. Maybe one of those you know purpose rock crawler things might be fun to tinker with at some point. But I'm just really enjoying. And it's very relaxing, the scale um, units. They just look like a miniature actual truck driving around. 
cool stuff. I did some changes on the suspension on this thing to make it a little bit better too. Let's switch her in a second or high gear and see what that looks like. Whoa. She definitely got more punch. It's amazing the difference between a two cell and a three cell battery. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got some giddy up. Holy moly, that little tiny battery. No way. <laughs> Torque twist of the chassis. She did accelerate so hard. I'm messing around out here. I'm going to flip that thing in that gravel. And you guys seen with the K10, that doesn't end very well. well that's kind of fun. Well, you got some newfound speed there, don't you? Who says rock crawlers can't go? Man. Danny, just flying through. No reason whatsoever. Just Danny being Danny. That's crazy how spunky and responsive this thing is with them three cells. <laughs> no, don't we get... Oh, yeah. Nope, we recovered. Sorry, I wasn't pointing the camera. I lost the front wheel. It was going inside the the railing there. But, I mean, yeah, it's really, really spunky. But I can turn that down with the, with the controller if I'm going to use the three cells. I'll probably use these little shorty packs all the time. Just seems to balance the truck out a little better. Although I miscalculated on the rear a little bit there, I think still. I'll spend some time with it. But I'm afraid of this controller is so sensitive that uh it uh yeah, I don't want to do a gen eight launch off the off the old dog fence here or, or a cage. I know we've never caged one of our dogs. We used those cage that was one of our daughters. She had to because of the apartment she was living in. And we borrowed that and we took all them dogs up to Seattle to get fixed. You remember? They did all of them. That was cool. But, uh, yeah, we used that cage and it's been here ever since. It was sitting there folded up in the corner there forever. There's a small one around here somewhere. Oh, it's behind uh, Sasha Nanny's little doggy house thing there. That they never use. They don't go in it. None of the dogs have gone in it. Since Milo, he was a shepherd. He passed away when he was 11-something. He ended up getting, getting cancer, the poor old boy. But he was the one that started all this mix. It goes down, just keeps... You know, there's different labs that were involved and Sasha and Annie and some of the other litters that were going on were uh, from a lab and the neighbor's uh, border collie over there. So Sasha has, Leo was half, um, he was full-blooded shepherd and Siberian husky. It was our husky and a neighbor's shepherd. And um, my, Milo was one of the puppies that came from that. It was our our, our Siberian Husky and neighbor's shepherd. They were both papered. And then uh, from there, Milo kept fathering puppies. <laughs> kind of crazy. Life goes on. It's definitely riding higher in the rear, isn't it? But then when it's going, you see it looks normal there. But it reacts. Like, watch when I turn it. It just kind of has that, whoa, turn, not gas. It has that kind of a weird body sway thing. So I'm only looking at it from one side. Probably worried about something you nothing to worry about, isn't it?
You know how we got that green Gen 8. There's a Gen 9. The Gen 8's got... Look how deep he's got that thing now. That's got to be a good six or eight inches. I will swallow that truck. Look at that. Oh, I can't get the camera that low. Kind of a cool hill on the other side, though. <laughs> I'm really impressed with that three cell. That thing really rips. Great, absolutely great price. It's one I see a lot of people, you know, watching, you know, these more pro guys than me, just a goof off. They deal with these things. A lot of those guys use these batteries. It's so much nicer not having to deal with you know, throttle off and braking. You just pick a speed and just let it roll. It's like being on cruise control. That's a nice light you're sitting in there. Look at the dust that's on you already. It's been out here playing a couple minutes. Well, I think I'm gonna conclude goofing around out here on camera. I'm going to play here a little bit and enjoy this incredible sunset. It's really comfortable. It's like 71 out here right now. It feels phenomenal. But uh, I'm going to play around here a little bit. And Mom and I do a goodbye. And that'll be it for the day. Look forward to a spider ride in the morning. Maybe more. I don't know what else I got going tomorrow. But what my day? I never look at what I got the next day. <laughs> I don't want to be anything weird and stress out over it. <laughs> All right. Well, hello there, you two. The dogs are so playful that cooler weather has just got them spinning. I know it. They're all bouncing off the yeah. walls. Sorry about that. Sorry if you got dogs. That's Sasha freaking out over, over Danny. Everybody loves Danny. Because where Crazy are you going? Like, I want to go. Tashi? Yep. There's two. Oh, can't. Can't catch them now. Abby and Danny, they're always out adventuring. Man, they're really crazy. I know it. I'm <laughs> going to get it. But anyway, beautiful, absolutely stunning ending to the day. Yes. Perfect temperature. It's, you know it's perfect. When Kelly starts to get cold, I'm thinking, yeah, that's just right. <laughs> I know I'm going. Almost time for a roll. Yeah. It's cold. But anyway, I think we're going to bail out on you on that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Friday or Saturday. Thank you. Tomorrow's Friday. It is Friday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> that was a day off. I love that. I know. That's yeah. good. I was talking about it this morning, but for some reason, I was thinking today was... Oh, I had Wednesday in my head all day today. Oh, don't do that to me. I don't want to do more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll talk to you then. Yes. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.